All right, so let's look at this problem. It's rolling wheel. Y'all might see by now. I kind of like these rolling wheels. They're pretty fascinating because it's not, it's not that easy. It's not as easy as it seems. It's not pure rotation. Uh, this one is rolling, um, rolling without slipping. Uh, so the omega is equal to 6, the alpha is equal to 4, uh, and we want to determine the acceleration of point A. So what is the acceleration of point A? Um, it's not zero, I'll tell you that. Uh, you might seem like it's zero. The velocity at A is zero, uh, but the acceleration is not zero. Um, and so this is a non-impure rotation. So this is a disc that is um, a rigid body that's not in pure rotation, not in pure translation. Uh, so we can use um, our relative acceleration method to kind of jump from one point to the next. What point do we know something about? We do know something about point G. We do know its acceleration is in this direction, and it is our alpha. So I'm going to jump from G to A. Uh, so I'll say AA equals AG plus A, A slash a slash G, uh, and, and immediately rewrite this as alpha cross R minus omega squared times R, A slash G, A slash G, A, G, A, G. All right. Uh, so this is kind of an interesting problem. We're at, we are told both of those, the alpha of that rigid body and the omega of that rigid body. Um, we, we know this R that goes from G to A. You, you always know that one because it's just from the figure. Um, and, uh, and we know that A, the acceleration of point G. Do I know anything about the acceleration of point A? No. Let's don't assume anything about the acceleration of that point A. R r uh, wheels that are rolling without slipping are fascinating and they're, I don't know, they're, they're more complicated than you might think. So, so in general, except for this point G, you know its acceleration. Any other point, I would not assume the direction. I would not assume the magnitude. Uh, for instance, let's, let's talk about point B right here. You might think the acceleration of B is right there. No. Uh, and this is not pure rotation, so it's not like A, B tangential, A, B normal, um, as if this was pinned. It is not pinned and rotating about G. Uh, so, you know, if I was going from to point B, I would say, hey, I don't know anything about point B. Maybe, I don't know, maybe its acceleration is at some angle. Uh, so anyway, if you don't know anything about this point, then those are my two unknowns. Those are my two unknowns. The I component and the J component are my two unknowns. So you can think of, think of it that way. My two unknowns are the I component and the J component. Another way you can think of it, my two unknowns are the magnitude of the acceleration and the direction of the acceleration. Uh, so if you don't know the direction, then you have two unknowns on that side of the equation. And in this case, that is okay because, you see all those check marks, we know every other thing on the right-hand side of our equation. So <clears throat> I'm going to say AA. I don't know anything about. I'm not going to put it at a 45-degree angle. I'm not going to put it in the I or in the J. We'll, we'll see. There is something special about it. We'll see what it is. Uh, AG. Uh, what is it? It is R alpha. Uh, it is 0.5 times uh, 4. Uh, so, so it is 2. And it's in the negative I. So negative 2 in the I. Would you agree? Right. That's the acceleration of point G. Plus alpha which is 4k. Positive or negative 4? Uh, well, that is counterclockwise, uh, so that would be positive 4k, uh, crossed with from g to a, from g to a, from g down to a, negative 0.5 in the j. All right, and then minus omega squared, 6 squared times negative 0.5 in the j. So there's my equation, the acceleration of A, negative uh, 2i. All right, this right here, 4 times 0.5 would be 2. Uh, K crossed with J, I, J, K. Do this circle. If it goes, you know, alphabetically around in that, that direction, it's going to be positive. If it goes the other direction, it's uh, negative. 
k crossed with j is ne sorry, negative i, and I have one more negative right here. So two negatives make a positive. And then this right here, 6 squared is 36 times 0.5, so this is 18. Uh, it was in the j, it is still in the j, and a minus here and a minus here would lead to positive. All right, so the acceleration of a is, I can combine those and they add up to zero. Okay, all right, and so my answer is 18 in the j. I need some units, this is acceleration. The acceleration is 18 j. Let's talk about that. That's, that's interesting. We, we have learned something new right here in this problem. And we learned it by, by using our relative acceleration method. The acceleration of that point on a wheel that is rolling without slipping is going to be in the j direction. It's going to be in the j direction. Could we have thought about that? What would, if I put a light, and I've done this, maybe I should... Make a video about this. Um, but if I put a light on the edge of a wheel that's rolling without slipping, um, and I rolled it, what would? And I took a long exposure photo, right? Go out to Borgard in the dark, uh, put a point on a wheel that's rolling without slipping, and take a long exposure photo. We could trace the path of that point, and that point would go like this. When it hits the ground, it would go back up, right, we, we, we talked about this, and it would take this path right here. It would never go backwards, uh, but it would get a reach a velocity of zero right here, uh, but the acceleration is different from velocity. Acceleration is the change in velocity, and so do you see that your our velocity was going down, down, and then it changed to up, up, and so does it make sense that the change in velocity would be in the j direction? Uh, it would be perpendicular to the incline. All right, and what about this 18? Uh, where did that come from? Uh, well, it came from r omega squared. This is almost, it's not, not exactly, but this is almost kind of like a, a normal acceleration. Uh, so the acceleration on the not it's not on the edge I mean it, it, it's at this point where the wheel is touching the ground uh, the acceleration is equal to r omega squared in the j direction or in the perpendicular to the ground direction right in the j direction perpendicular to the ground um, so the acceleration of point A is r omega squared perpendicular to the ground. The acceleration of the center of gravity is r alpha parallel to the ground. All right, so now we have learned two things. So now we do know two things about a um, wheel that is rolling without slipping. Uh, we know the acceleration of the center of gravity, and we know the acceleration of the point that it's touching the ground. So maybe we can use those if, if we want to, you know, jump from one point to the next. But we, we, we use our relative velocity, I mean, our relative acceleration method. It works. Uh, it works for this problem. It works for any problem where you got two points that are on the same rigid body.